Are you an NNN creator? Do you want to showcase your workflows on the NNN website? Do you want to build any credibility towards your AI agency? Today, we shall explore how you can upload your templates to the NNN website. I'm pretty sure if you have used NNN before, you have started using a boilerplate or maybe a template. As you can see, there are many creators in the NNN community and every one of them contribute by offering their own templates or their own integrations that they have worked with and something that has benefited them. So today we shall explore how we can upload our own template to NNN. Now before we start, let me just show you my templates to show you that I have successfully uploaded a few. Out of 4,600, I've uploaded eight. These are a few of my workflows and some of the workflows has really boomed. They have really flowered and got a lot, a lot of views. For example, this content farming AI powered blog automation for WordPress has got a lot of views in the recent few weeks. Why? It's because the workflow actually contributes something to the community and brings a lot of value. Let me show you how the workflow looks on the main page. So NNN has a beautiful UI where we can see the templates, the UI, the nodes, the connectors, and we can even interact with it we can zoom in, we can see what the workflow looks like. I don't really know how they implemented this beautiful UI, but it looks pretty sick because we can click a node, we can copy and we can paste it back to our original workflow. Another thing that you can see is that we have a lot of content and we can insert images, we can insert links to our original site, to our GitHub. We can bring the links um, outside of the NNN community. And this is very useful if you're developing an agency and need some credibility to your site. So there are two types of workflows that you can upload. One is free and another one is paid. Let me show you the big difference. So for a paid workflow, yeah, for a paid workflow, you can actually specify at what price you're selling the workflow for. I personally love making workflows and I spent a lot of time and effort into it. If this is useful, I charge user a small fee for them to enjoy the same benefits as I have taken the time to create it. So some workflows over here are paid for and you can see the real benefits, but NNN itself does not facilitate any transaction. Instead, whenever you want to purchase a workflow, it brings you outside of NNN and this can sort of de-risk NNN from any fraud or potential problems that it can cause. All right, now that we have already looked at what the UI looks like, let us go ahead and create our own NNN template. To do this, we must first visit the website called creators.nnn.io slash dashboard. Now this is a page that's already logged in, but let me just log out so that we can start the whole process together. So you can visit the site called creators.nnn.io and it will bring you to a sign in and registration page. If you do not have an account, you must first create an account and become a template creator. I'm going to create an account with a filler profile that I have. All right. We get sent a verification email. Let me just verify it real quickly. Now you'll be shown an empty page just for you to start uploading your templates. All right, let's get started. To start, we must click this share new template button. And there are three most important sections. One is the name of your workflow. Second is the description. And third is the template code. So for this, for this experiment, we shall upload a new workflow that I have. This is a workflow I created to showcase how we can upload templates to NNN. The workflow is relatively simple. It takes tables from Postgres and saves them to GitHub as backup CSV files. If you're a developer and you work with Postgres, you know that a lot of things can happen to Postgres and we need to back up our files routinely. So all this workflow does is it exports each Postgres table and saves it into CSV and then we back it up inside a GitHub repository. I don't want to pay for any storage bucket or any additional um, Google Drive. All I want to do is just save the CSV inside GitHub and this simple workflow does it all. Let's see if the workflow works. Let's give it a go. All right, it's pretty simple and it works. 
Now we are going to export this into a JSON format and upload it to NetN. The first thing we want to do is to press the three dots here and press download, which we will get a resulting JSON file. So once we have removed all sensitive data, we are going to change it and upload the template code to this link below. All right, we need to input the name, we need to input the description, but I am very lazy and I usually just use ChatGPT to um, summarize all the information. So I go to ChatGPT and I upload all the template. Right, now we, inf now we instruct ChatGPT that, hello, I'm uploading an end workflow to the creator community. Can you generate a title and description in Markdown format? This is super important because NNN stores your description in a Markdown format. This is what allows you to put pictures, tables, and important information inside your description. Okay, so we ask it to generate a title and description Markdown format. Hey, perfect. All right, let's copy and bring it back to our workflow. All right, as we can see, it has generated the description. The title is duplicate. Dun, 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 dun. We gotta make it a little bit more pretty. And as we can see, the result is pretty good. Let's give it a quick read. Brush through any of the dash that ChatGPT usually creates. And yeah, we're good to go. Once we're done with this, we're gonna go and review and click submit. Great, we have already submitted this and the status will be under review. Based on my experience, it usually takes them about two days to a week to review. And I think this is a good QC process because they need to make sure that there is no fraud. They need to test out whether the workflow actually works. And overall, I love the whole process. It's pretty simple and straightforward. As you can see, these are the workflows that I've already published and the ones that we recently uploaded is still under review. Once it's finished, it will also have the status of published and you will be receiving a link that you can view it publicly and you can share this link on your favorite websites, on your GitHub, on your um, channels, on your social media so that you can inform and promote your workflows to other developers alike. And just like that, it's a very simple process. And this way you can build credibility towards your AI agency or you as a developer because you are now officially contributing to the NNN community. Make amazing workflows, make them free, make them paid. As long as you contribute to the community, you bring a lot of value to the table. You can reach out to me via Discord if you need some help setting up your templates. And I'm more than happy to help. Uh, that's it from me. I wish you all the best. Hit the subscribe button below because I create a lot of tutorials that can help you enhance your automation and AI journey with NNN and other tools alike. I hope this has been very useful and thanks for sticking around till the very end. 